Meredith Morakovitz, you have the first question. Go ahead and unmute. on Aaron Judge, will he be doing anything on the field today? Um, he's getting worked on right now. I'd say there's a chance, um, but we haven't made that call yet. So he's he's kind of going through some treatment stuff right now. So hopefully we'll know that in the next hour or so. Is that it, Meredith? She done? All right, she's done. Eric Bolin, go ahead. Aaron, Aaron, just to follow up on, on Judge, just when you, you talked to him this morning, is there improvement over yesterday? Has there been gradual improvement since Saturday when he was scratched? Yeah, I haven't talked to him this morning, but yes, when he when he came in today, I think there is improvement and um, he, again, he's getting worked on right now, so we'll have a good feel for whether he's in or, in or out of the inner squad here in a little bit. And then just uh, unrelated, how, how surprised are you at the, the progress of, of Tanaka? I mean, you obviously had a, you know, a, a closer view than you probably would have liked of, of what happened on, the, on July 4th. Just how surprised are you that, that there apparently doesn't seem to be any... Yeah, um, yeah, I don't want to say surprise because I felt at least a little bit of relief when I went out there immediately. Look, it's a scary thing, um, and 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 one of those things that happens, unfortunately, in our game every now and again. So, um, you know, as as about a startling a, a moment that you can have on the baseball field. Um, that at least in the immediate, when I saw him out there, I felt pretty good with how he was responding and, and have been encouraged with his kind of daily progress and how he's responded as, as the workload is ticked up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sweeney Murdy, you're up next. Aaron, I know things are still kind of fluid, but have you settled on the number of pitchers that you are not settled, but do you have an idea how many of the first 30 players you want to be on your pitching staff? No, no, we haven't had those conversations yet. Um, you know, I, I mean, I guess I have a vague idea in my head, but as far as talking, um, you know, as a staff and with the front office, um, we haven't dove into that uh, real earnestly at this point. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Brendan Cuddy, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, has Aaron Judge undergone any testing for his neck? Um, you mean as far as like yeah, MRI, MRI no, scan? No, nothing like that. It's all just been treatment stuff. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's all I got. Okay. Brian Hoke, go ahead and unmute. I'll ask another Judge question. Uh, if this was opening day, would yep. this even be a concern for you? Would he be in the lineup? Um, you know, I think he'd probably be pushing, excuse you, um, yesterday, um, to probably get in knowing, knowing him, um, it, it just would have come down to, you know, from a swing standpoint, how much would it have affected him? How much, you know, could it be something that leads to a bad habit or something like that? Again, I, I do feel like it's short-term thing that he'll work through, um, you know, I guess we didn't really go down that road if this was a game. I, I, I know he's probably fairly close to considering playing yesterday, but um, or actually yesterday was a work day anyway. So um, we'll we'll see today how he comes out of his treatment and and make that decision. See where we're at. And so you're nine days away from opening day. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the workload that he's been able to do since he started summer camp? Yeah, really good. I mean, you know. Because even the weeks leading up, he was really starting to be able to get after it a little bit. And and his response to that, um, obviously being ramped up and letting it go from a swing standpoint, was really encouraging. Um, the amount of reps he's gotten out here, you know, he's been one of those guys that, you know, you know, before camp even opened and Cole was here that first day, he was able to get live at bats of that. He's, uh, you know, he's done a lot of work off the high speed machines and things like that. So I feel really good about how much he's been able to build up. He's, he's played a number of innings in the field. So I feel like he's in a good, good spot moving forward to be, to be ready to go opening day. Thanks, Aaron. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Marley Rivera. Marley, go ahead. 
Hi, Aaron. When, Hi. Uh, as Hoki just said, uh, we are nine days away from opening day. For you, what is your main focus right now? Just getting these guys built up. Um, you know, yesterday was an important day just from, uh, you know, <clears throat> getting getting some pitchers, you know, a pretty intense uh, fielding practice scenario where we're putting them in different situations. Um, you know, there'll be some more of that along the way here in these next nine days. But I think the biggest thing is is getting the position players built up to where they're able to go deep in games and, and obviously back to back. And I feel like overall um, we've done that. You know, we've I think we had our guys go seven innings and then six innings. So and most of them have gone back to back, even with a day game after a night game. And the response has been pretty good. So really striking that balance between making sure they get their recovery time, but also pushing the envelope is getting their volume up. So they're, you know, ready to go once the regular season, I would say that's my biggest uh, thing right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next question from Christy Ackert. Christy, go ahead. Hi, Aaron. I'm just wondering, when do you expect to start having players go to Scranton? Um, we're we're gonna, we'll have a conversation about some of that today, so that could start to happen soon. We're we're getting the facility, making sure it's all up to standard. Doug Behar has been down there the last several days, getting it ready. So um, we'll probably have something uh, f pretty soon. How how would you expect that split to be? Will you keep thirty here? Will you keep more here? Um, we we might do it in waves. Again, we, those are conversations we've got to have here over the next 24 hours about you know who who we might send out uh, to start working down there um, and and just how many. It could happen in a couple different waves. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Take the next question from Joel Sherman. Joel, go ahead and unmute. Aaron, um, I'm wondering was. Was there any moment in March in particular that Jay Hop was not available to you because he was injured? And was he ever an injured player for you last season? Um, I feel like he missed a start or two last season. Um, I don't know if he ever went on the IL, though. Did, you know? I'm, I don't know offhand. And, and in March, he was, he was available. In March? March available. Yeah, March he... He was, yeah, he came out, I think he threw our first game and, and was throwing the ball pretty well. 